Alright, so today's story time is one of those story times that just reminds me of a place that I don't miss, okay? So this story time takes place when I was in 7th grade, okay? We're jumping right into this, alright? It's about the time I witnessed two people do something on the school bus that I uh, don't ever want to witness two people do on a school bus ever again, to put it simply. So anyway, yeah, the story time takes place when I was in 7th grade. Now, in middle school specifically, my bus was filled full with people. Like, almost every seat was always taken. And I was one of the first five people on the bus every day. So, it was like an hour-long bus ride, okay? Now, I wasn't the first person on every day. I was probably the fourth, I think. And every time I would get on the bus, these two people would always steal my seat in the back. I always sat in the very back. And this couple would always steal it. It was this 10th grader couple. Some days they wouldn't be there, but most of the days they would steal it from me. And they would just sit in that seat in the back of the bus and make out constantly. It was honestly so annoying. Not only did it remind me of my black hole of a lonely life. No, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Anyway, I had to sit there and listen to them with their corny ass flirting, which would always just be like, oh, babe, I love you so much. And she'd be like, oh, we're going to be together forever, right? And I'd just sit there and think like, no, you're not. You're going to break up next year. And can you guess what happened? They broke up before next year. So yeah, rip them. Anyway, that's beyond the point, okay? So every day I'd get on the bus and they would steal my spot and just use it to make out. But this day was a little bit different, okay? So this all started off as a normal morning, except I woke up really, really late. Like, I had 10 minutes before my bus got to my house. So I took the fastest shower in the world, got dressed, and I was waiting outside for the bus. And the bus gets there, and I get on the bus, and I'm walking to the back, and I can see their heads in my seat. Like, I knew it the minute I got halfway down the bus aisle that they stole my seat. So as I'm approaching, they're just making out on top of each other, like always. And, you know, I thought that was it. But when I got closer, I realized there was a lot more going on than just a little bit of making out, okay? This 10th grader couple was just full-on going at it in the back seat of this bus, like full-blown just doing it. And when I realized it, I was like, oh, what the hell? So I turn around and I walk like three seats ahead of them and I sit down in one of those seats and I'm just sitting there feeling awkward as hell and just so confused at what I just saw. Like, let me tell you, you think coffee wakes someone up in the morning? Yeah, well, I hope you never have to witness two people doing it on the seat that you sit in on the bus. So anyway, like I said, I sit down in that seat and then I start playing my music and all of a sudden I feel a tap on my shoulder and I turn around and it's the guy. The dude that was in the back seat with his girlfriend just a second ago. And he goes, Austin, don't say a word about what you just saw to anybody. And I was like, why? He's like, because I don't want you to. It's private information. I'm like, oh, oh, it's private? Bro, I don't know if you just, you know, saw what you did, but you did it on a school bus, man. That's kind of a public place. So I think you threw private out the window. He's like, Austin, I'm not here for your stupid ass little jokes, you seventh grader. He's like, if you tell anyone, I'm going to beat the hell out of you. And I'm like, you're going to beat me up. He's like, yeah, if you tell someone. I'm like, first of all, bro, I didn't plan on parading around telling people this information. Because why would anybody want to know about you guys doing it on a school bus? Like, no one cares. Second of all, are you seriously threatening to beat up a seventh grader right now? And he just yells. He's like, Austin, just don't tell anybody, okay? And the bus driver stops the bus and goes, what's going on back there? And he's just like, oh, oh, nothing. Just having a convo with Austin. He goes, all right, well, quiet down. Don't yell. And then he starts going again. But yeah, after that, he went back to the back seat with his girlfriend to do whatever else they were doing. I don't even want to think about it. But yeah, I didn't tell anybody about it because honestly, I didn't want to. That's not something that's like a flex or something that anyone even wants to know. So I didn't plan on telling anyone. So there was no need for him to uh, threaten me like that. But yeah, in the end... Everyone was okay, besides my eyes on that day. I didn't really want to witness that. And uh, they broke up a month later. Yeah, they started sitting in separate bus seats. So um, that was nice for me. I got my seat back. But yeah, guys, moral of the story is do not be like them. Never do that, ever. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it funny. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace. So sad, oh.